What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Knives of the Round Table. My name's Marco and today we we are looking at something uh, quite special. You know, you as as knife enthusiasts, we we always get you know, new knife day is just a great day. But there's different uh levels of new knife day, right? There's a new knife day when you get you know, a new uh, Benchmade or a new Spyderco, you know, those are good days. And then there's new knife days when you get a uh, XM18 or a Sebenza, right? Those are better new knife days. And the day where you get a new custom knife factory, that's pushing it up there in the, in the, in the, in the scale of good new knife days. And when you get a new Evo, well, that's just, there are very many uh, better new knife days, in my opinion. So today we're looking at the brand new uh, Custom Knife Factory Evo 3.0. So as the name says, the 3.0 is the third iteration of the Evo. The first one uh, was released before I got into the knife hobby, so I do not own an Evo 1.0. I do own an Evo 2.0 and we'll uh, do a, some uh, comparisons. I do a lot of comparisons with the Evo 2.0. So let me give you kind of a tour of the knife. I think that, uh, that the Evo is one of the most iconic knives that Custom Knife Factory makes. And in fact, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link my Custom Knife Factory brand overview. And I think that this is the most iconic knife in their lineup. Now, what you have here, so they made this in, in, in different variants, okay? So I'm gonna tell you my variant, and then I'm gonna tell you what the other variants were. So what we have here is kind of a, a reverse Tanto sheep's foot blade. It's very, very tall. It's a hollow grind that in this version has been hand rubs, it has run hand rub satin in, in that direction. And hopefully the, the hand rub satin comes comes across let me see if I can get a little closer so you've got some hand rub satin uh, going in that direction and then you have your your deployment hole here for kind of a, a middle finger flick external uh, uh, thumb stud that is also the stop pin that uh, lands into the frame right there this is a collaboration between Custom Knife Factory and Rotten Design, uh, John Sorensen from Rotten Design. Um, you've got uh, a Timascus uh, pivot collar on this version of the knife. You've got this this kind of, it, it's, it's a dark wash uh, uh, titanium and it's got like this tree bar texturing on the scales. This is Rotten Design's logo, it's M390. And hopefully that comes across right here. M390, and this is number 414. And as you can see, I've already, <laughs> it's, I, I, I went across it over here. But, um, so yeah, so I've had this for about, probably uh, two weeks, a little more than two weeks, and and I, it just hasn't left my pocket. It's just, this is just such an amazing knife. It's not a small knife. The, the, the Evo 2.0 is not a small knife either, but this one is, 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 is larger. It's pushing a four inches, three and, a, three, and three quarter inch blade. Um, so it's fairly, so, so, so it's fairly large, but I'll tell you what it's for, for that big of a blade. It, it doesn't, it doesn't feel like a, like an almost four inch uh, blade knife. So let me give you the typical size comparisons and then we'll jump into the, into the other size comparisons. So this here is against the Para 2 and here is against the Para 3. So obviously probably the, the best size comparison here is the Para 2, right? Uh, handle wise, uh, and even 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 in the philosophy, right? You've got kind of this 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 groove here, this finger groove right here, and then the the one for choking up is kind of half on the on the scales and half on the blade, which is what you've got here. So the Evo is 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 both longer and taller, 
but I'll show you here how it carries. And the carry profile is one of the things that I like about the Evo the most. So, so it's it's gonna feel at at its widest. It's it's kind of matching the the Parrot two. Okay, at its widest. Now, what I really like is that even though this one has has a very weird, you know, the the sheep's foot, it's kind of semi cleaverish blade. It packs up into into a fairly rectangular shape. I very much like that this is almost a, 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 a rectangle here. This line and this line match up. So this one is, is at its widest, but it's it doesn't really occupy much more space in your pocket. I guess is what I'm trying to say. And then uh, thickness wise, uh, the Evo 3.0 is is actually fairly thicker than the than the Parrot 2. Uh, blade thickness much much thicker as you can tell right there the blade thickness of the of the Evo is much thicker so for sake of completeness let's do here's against the full size bug out and here's up against the mini bug out obviously not a fair comparison this is kind of a it's it's a little bit be bigger than even the pair of two uh, but just to give you an idea, if you have one of these knives in your collection, that's kind of uh, that's kind of where it's at. Now, the reason I'm doing this review right now and I'm pushing it to the top of the list is because uh, some of these will be available. So this one was a pre-order, so I got the pre-order, but the excess inventory they're gonna release here in a little bit. You have to follow everybody to you know, custom knife factory and rotten sign and everybody to, to find out where and how, but the, these are going to be released here soon. So, so be on the lookout for that. So the, the other size comparison you probably want to see is against the Evo 2.0. So that's the Evo 2.0. So size wise, I like the Evo 2.0 better, uh, in, uh, as far as the, the, the length of the knife, I still, you know, if I choke up, you can see in the in the Evo 2.0, I still have, I, I wear large gloves, so I still have plenty here. And if I choke back, I still have plenty. So, so this this size of a knife is is plenty for me for my large hands. So this one, when I choke up, man, I have like a full <laughs> inch back here. When I choke back, I still have a lot of a lot of a, a lot of uh, real estate here in the. <clears throat> In the handle portion of it, the the Evo 2.0 that I have is is belt satin, and and it's basically the plain Jane version of the knife. That's what that's what you get. So I'll keep on comparing uh, the two, and I'll let you know what the kind of what the changes are, other than the size. Oh, and one of the things that uh, change that that is that is a big change is that the thickness of the blade is significantly thicker on the Evo 3.0. So it's not just that it's a larger size in length and, and whatever, it's actually a more massive, a more massive knife. So let's start with, <clears throat> with ergonomics. And the ergonomics on the, on the original Evo were really good, and I think they're even better on this one. And let me tell you why I think that. First, it's, it's a more massive knife, and in this one, it has a zirconium backspacer. So the original, or, and when I say the original, I'm gonna be referring to it 2.0, which is my original one, not the 1.0. So this one has a titanium backspacer, but the, the, the Evo 3.0, this version of the knife, has a zirconium backspacer, and zirconium is very heavy, so it feels a lot more solid in my hand. It's, it's a function of having a thicker blade, uh, you know, having zirconium, it just feels like a, it, it feels my hand a little bit better. I also think that they did the jimping on the back here. They did it a little bit better on this version of the knife. On the 3.0, they did it better than the 2.0. So I think ergonomics it just it just one of those that that kind of melts in your hand on a on on your traditional grips on say on a, on a saber grip or a hammer grip, even if you're choked back. Or choked forward here it feels really really nicely in the hand it's not a neutral handle so all of your reverse ones are, are gonna kind of suck you know they're not gonna be great but uh, both the, the the saber grip and the hammer grip are gonna be 
really, really, really good. They, they there's, there's, there's no hot spots that you that 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 that, that, that you can feel. Uh, you know, this groups there's there's contouring, you know, along the handle. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. So it's obviously thicker and thinner uh, over here and over here. So it's 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 very ergonomic. This feels really really nicely in the hand. Not that you're gonna be probably doing a lot of heavy work with your with your uh, with your Evo. I think there's better knives for for heavy duty work. But but I think that you could you could put some uh, some some force behind this and and not have your your knife your your hand be be in pain with with all of this. Uh, now let's talk action. And the action is, it's actually, it's actually much different from the action on the on the 2.0. The action on the 2.0 is, let me see if I can, it, this one is faster, the 2.0 is faster. And I don't think it's just a matter of the blade weight. This one feels more like a guillotine, it falls faster, even though it's a lighter blade than the 3.0. Uh, the acoustics. Let me see if I can, if I can show you the acoustics of both. Okay, so I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna deploy this one twice. Okay, the 2.0, and then I'm gonna deploy the 3.0 twice. So as you can see, this one uh, has more clicky sand with with some tings, especially at the closing. Let me do it again. And then if I do this one feels, uh, look, he hear it. And one last time and the closing. So this one, the, the sounds that it makes feel a lot more muffled and I've taken it apart, I've greased it, I've, and, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you because one of the main differences is that this one comes on, a, on, on just regular uh, steel bearings. This one has multi-row ceramic bearings. I'm gonna try and, 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 and put a picture of that here so you can see what the inside of this thing looks like. Uh, but you've got a ceramic detent uh, and this one, it feels, it feels smoother and it feels muffled and the closing is more controlled. So this action feels a little bit more premium, even though I think I like the sounds of the 2.0 better, but I think uh, that the deployment action, the closing action, it feels a little bit better on the, on the 3.0. Uh, it may be just a function of the, of the size of the blade, but it, it's kind of strange because you get a more controlled uh, silky drop shot action on this one, you know, without being a guillotine, and I like that quite a bit. It takes just the slightest of, of, of shakes to to get it to go, you know. It's 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 very very smooth. Uh, this one, the 2.0, makes better sounds, and it's uh, and it's more drop shotty. I think this one feels a little bit more premium and a little bit smoother on on this one, even though I don't think is faster than this one. And and I don't know if so deployment faster on this one I think is 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 it's attributed to the fact that it's got a thinner smaller blade but the fact that this one closes faster than this one uh, it, it's more to do with the internals uh, of of both knives how they how they're different. So uh, uh, spider flicking it is kind of my preferred uh, deployment method the the thumb stud or the external stopping on this one is very uh, is very loose, uh, so I don't use it all that much. But on this one, it's it's, it's fairly well tuned. I like I like it a lot. Now it's not comfortable because it's meant to be a stop-in, not a not a thumb stud. So 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 the edge is not kind of rounded or anything like that. But you can use it. But my preferred deployment method is the is the is the middle finger flick here. Uh, it's it, it's chamfered internally. It's it's really 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 well done. So that's as far as action goes. Now uh, cutting. So cutting is where I think that the Evo that the 2.0 is is much better. Uh, I think 
that it they started out with uh, thinner uh, blade stock, which obviously is going to be slicier right off the bat. If you did the exact same thing, a thinner blade stock is just going to be uh, slicier. So this is, I would say that this is a little bit more heavy duty than this. But even then, I think if I if I if I if I rotate slowly, hopefully the hollow comes along comes across here. Now this one is also a hollow grind, but if I do the same thing, you don't see it as prominently. So I think they did a deeper hollow on this one. And let me see if I can show you this way. So as you can see, the you can see very clearly the hollow right here in the in, in the in the kind of reverse tanto portion of the blade. You can see how hollow it is. It's much harder to notice it on this one. It, I, I've put a straight edge to it, okay? So you're gonna have to trust me when I tell you that it's a hollow, but it's a, sl it's a much, much lighter hollow. So even though it is a hollow grind, it, it comes from a thicker blade stock. I don't think it's the deepest hollow, so it doesn't come down. I've said that this one comes to, a, to, a, to such a thin edge that I kind of worry. <laughs> about how thin this blade is. I think this one, it still cuts pretty darn good, uh, but it's nowhere near as slicey as what this one is, okay? And especially when you get to a, a to, let's say you're, you're slicing through cardboard, right? When you get to the full thickness, you've got a very thick blade here. So I think this is better for uh, cutting rope, uh, for cutting shallow cuts, those kinds of things. Uh, but because it, and, and because it's a, uh, it's a thicker blade stock. I think this is a little bit heavier use knife. Again, I'm not sure that you wanna use your Evo for for hard use things, but if you're going to, I think the Evo 3.0 is a much better choice than your Evo 2.0. Um, so what else? Uh, fit and finish, man. Uh, I think I think that they. I think that the and pardon the pun, but it feels like the like the 3.0 is the next evolutionary step for this. It feels like you keep a lot of the uh, a lot of the good things like the like the texture of the titanium, the the design, but you get a couple of little extra things like the like the multi-row ceramic bearings in here. Uh, you get well, and I think that the blade. See, let me let me show you. So there's this tiny little kind of swedge on the 2.0. I don't know if you can tell up here. There's a tiny little swedge up here, very, very small. And in this one, it's far more pronounced. You can see it, it's much bigger. And I like that a lot. I like this, sh this shape of this grind of this blade a lot more than I like this grind of this blade, even though I like the grind lines of the belt satin. Uh, so, like I said, there's there's different versions of this. There's one that's belt satin, but it was the plain Jane version, and I wanted the dark, the dark handle with the with the Damascus color, and that only came with the hand rub satin. So, uh, I think I think that the fit and finish on this one is one step in evolution from this one. The action feels, feels a little bit more premium. The internals, I think, are a little bit more premium. I think that the blade, the swedge over this one, I think it's better. Uh, again, I think that the size is probably, I like this, the, the small one better. Uh, so if they could do this blade shape with the zirconium and the Timascus and put it in this package, that would, <laughs> that would be great. You know, we're always, we're never fully satisfied. But I think that uh, usually Custom Knife Factory has really, really good fit and finish. I would say somewhere between what a hinderer in Riyadh is and not quite where a Koenig is, is probably right in there, okay? That's that's where I think a Custom Knife Factory is. So really, really, really good, okay? I mean, if you're a little bit beyond hinderer, then you're, you're in really good company, okay? So I think that's where that's where this is at. I think it's made incredibly well. I think it's it, I think it's a great knife. Now, um, uh, airing of grievances, uh, not a lot. Uh, I don't have many complaints uh, about the about the Evo two point uh, three point 
I think I think it's a great knife. I've I've called the I think it's become like the third knife, the top third top three knives in my collection. Uh, you can take a look at my the top ten knives in my collection. I believe that this one falls probably a number three or number four thereabouts. Okay, I, I, I can't remember, but one of the things that I do like that they changed is that they have an internal stop pin for the Evo 2.0 that is hollow and you can see the hole and you can see all the way through, you know? So that's that's on the Evo 2.0, but I didn't like, I didn't that, like that hole in the in, in, in scale, which they did away with and I'm very, and I'm very happy that they did. Uh, one really nice thing that they do and I love them for it is you see, this tiny little screws right here, this one, this one, that one, okay, all of these. Yeah, those are T8s. <laughs> that, the pivot, is T20, okay? Way to go. Uh, none of this T6 crap that, you know, that you might strip. No, and not only that, traditionally, a, a Custom Knife Factory sends you an extra pivot, extra screws, uh, an extra set of bearings, uh, a, a lot of extra goodies, in case you need to to replace any of them because a lot of these are limited runs and they're probably never gonna make them again so they're they're making sure that you they're making sure of the longevity of the knife okay and you don't have to send it anywhere for that they just give you all of the stuff that you might need so guys this one is getting a little bit long in the tooth uh we're pushing 20 minutes and i usually don't don't go that long but this is just a great knife and again this one is going to be available here soon so uh, keep your eyes out and if you really want it you're going to have to be you know fast on your clicking and hopefully uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it if you did enjoy it then uh, then like and subscribe only if you think that i earned your subscription uh, and until i see you at the next one take care